As you said once a long time ago, if my 13-year-old self and my 30-year-old self got together and had a baby, they would want to have a place that has great arcade games and craft beer. Brewcade. This is that place. Yeah. Welcome back to the Happy Hour, guys. My name is Jimmy Ludwig. My name is Mark Aldrich. And we are in San Francisco. San Francisco. Well, we're going to head in. We're going to meet the owner. We're going to meet the uh, beer curator. We're going to get to know a little bit about this place, about this neighborhood, and about how they got to be here. Can I play some Defender? Yes, if I can play Joust. And drink a sour beer? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, my pleasure. Our pleasure. We are at Brewcade in San Francisco. Why don't you introduce yourself and your job title to our viewers? How's it going? My name is Sean Vergara. I'm one of the proprietors here at Brewcade. My sister, who's not here, is also my business partner. She's our business manager. She just had a baby. So congratulations to uh, my business partner and sister, Tiffany uh, Vergara. Congratulations. (laughs) <laughs> the next generation is already lined up. She's a bar baby for sure. Uh, tell, how long have you been open? Uh, we opened on December 10th. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Really just recent. Got here. Yeah, just about two months old. My nephew and I were talking. He loves beer. He's always, you know, he loves that I'm in the bar business. I have another bar down the street. He was telling me about uh, these barcades are opening up in Colorado Springs. When he was telling me, I thought it was a really good idea. And then I had the opportunity. I was out in uh, Brooklyn, Barcade. Barcade's great? Yeah, Barcade's great. Right when I saw it, I was just like, this is something I want to do. The space presented itself. Ah. That is how it all started. Now, what what neighborhood is this called for, for our viewers who aren't familiar with San yeah. Francisco? Where are we in the city? Yeah, so technically, this is considered the Castro. Obviously, Castro is a very historical neighborhood yeah, with long-standing yeah. roots with the gay community. So it's been kind of awesome. As a gay man myself, I've been in the community. My roots run deep in the neighborhood. And a lot of the inspiration for doing this place has kind of come from wanting to bring something new and different to the neighborhood that I feel really the neighborhood just hasn't seen, obviously. Fantastic. This neighborhood <laughs> needed craft beer and arcade games. So far, we're really lucky that things have been working out you know, really well. And the neighborhood's been responding to us, kind of getting to know us and what we're doing, what we're all about. It's interesting. Ah! And dogs are allowed. Dogs are allowed. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Either that or the coyotes are really, really <laughs> making it into town. It's interesting to me that the, the, the sort of trend right now to, to flash back to vintage arcade games <laughs> and combining it with craft beer because they're both kind of like, they're both kind of returning to our roots, you know, because yep. craft so beer is finally, finally now everybody's getting their, their neighborhood. <laughs> Emergency responders. It's a neighborhood. <laughs> that wasn't an arcade game. I'm just saying. But now, finally, everybody's getting their neighborhood, their local brewery back again, and everybody wants to play classic video games. It reminds me of their childhood. It just seems like a really great marriage of two pastimes that everybody loves. Walking to to uh, kindergarten and elementary school, there was a 7-Eleven on the way, huh. and the, you know, I would play Defender, Asteroids. Oh, Defender was my favorite. Yeah, Defender. I loved that game. <laughs> it's so hard. It harkened back to the game aspect for me as a child, and then obviously being able to marry it with beer, it just seemed like a sort of no-brainer. My name is Kai Viegas, and I do the uh, beer program here. Okay. You are the beer curator, the beer master. Beer, beer curator, general manager to the staff. Yeah. Very cool. Tell Very us cool. A, a little bit about your background. What what led you here? I have this funny story of just being in high school and being like one guy that went to the parties with a box of Newcastle, you know, <laughs> instead of instead of your typical, you know, PBR or whatever. Oh, good for you. Um, good for you. So, you know, early on, that... that interest was there just there's different beer out there and so by the time you know I was 21 I was able to finally go to the stone uh, the stone uh, brewery nice. and take a tour and, and I, you know I, I had my my first beer from craftsman brewing down in Pasadena and it was a life-changing sort of experience so that was the one that was the beer that really that was, knocked it that out was the beer that was the beer triple white sage uh, Belgian triple brewed with with uh, fresh white sage oh wow. so, 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 from, his, from his land so your gateway beer it was a triple. Absolutely. <laughs> it was a triple. Wow. So now you're here. Tell us a little about a, your philosophy of curating here, what you look for, what you what you hope to, to carry and feature for people. Sure. Um, you know, because of the video games and the whole nostalgia thing, it was really 
you know, trying to find a beer list that was sort of a more approachable and less, you know, less less eclectic. And you know, um, a lot of the times people want to come in here and they, you know, they just they just want a beer. Yeah. And so, how do you, you know, how do you educate while also providing that? Right. Give people um, solid, good choices right. of like, you know, like right. Pivo Pills. That's a solid, it's, prototypical yeah, pills. I mean, it's one of my, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. So that's been kind of the approach, um, especially being in, you know, in this area. I feel like there's not a whole lot of, a lot of love for beer. You can walk into any one of these bars and, and find a Coors Light on draft, yeah. or yeah. you know. So it's 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 different for the community, and it's really great that we're bringing in this, this new this new concept and you know more beer. You know, beer, more beer is accessible now. Yeah, so it's, it's been really great. Clearly, because of your location, it's not it's not hard to feature local breweries. Um, is there, are there a couple? I mean, I know there are more than a couple, but there are yeah. one or two that you're sort of watching right now that you Who think you are on the cusp on? of something really good. The first thing that comes to my mind is, is uh, Cellar Maker Brewing in yeah. Soma. Really good guys. They just had their one year anniversary recently, and you know they've just been doing some amazing stuff. That's like hyper local. I mean, they're, yeah. they're just right. right. I mean, I can yeah, I could I could literally walk there if I, if I really wanted to. But but besides that, I mean, Hen House Brewing out of Petaluma has been doing amazing things. Four Point Brewing up here in San Francisco also is doing some really great things. This is, it's an amazing time for beer, and you know, it's, it's getting more exciting. People are, are starting to tune in a little bit more. Um, and really, it's about sort of educating those people and trying to get them to try new things. And that's, right, that's kind right. of like, that's the goal. Come on out, have some great beers uh, that we've been curated by Kai Viegas, our beer guru. Come check out our happy hour, have some discounted beers, and... Um, Play some games and have a really good time. I might not leave here tonight. I've got, I've got <laughs> games to play. I've got to great. play some Defender. I'm sorry. Before yeah, I leave, I'm playing some Defender. Now I'll say thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate you taking the time out. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. And congratulations on a great new place. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. And thank you guys so much for being with us. We will see you next time. Cheers. 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 Um, he thinks there's a little bit of English malt in this one. What?